Hello everyone and welcome to DCS World, where having done the carrier landing challenge in Flight Sim, I decided I would need to do penance by showing how it actually is in DCS World and also getting some practice in because I sorely need it. So during some recent live streams, I decided to do practice and it did not go very well. I used this Bankler's Case mission uh, that people recommended and so this is the way I'm doing the challenge and it's a full setup unlike in flight sim where they have you lined up and you're coming straight in from miles away I guess they figured it was like landing at a normal airport or something that's not how planes land on carriers we're going to go through the pattern and you can see we are passing by the carrier at 350 knots at 800 feet above the surface and we are going to begin the pattern a little bit away from the carrier and we are in the F-18C and uh, for the subsequent attempts I will show it from when I start the break which is the first turn into the downwind leg and I'm just leaving myself some distance here and we'll begin the break momentarily and you can see I throttle down and then we're coming I know I'm not at the g-force that I'm supposed to do the break at uh, I know it's supposed to be 1%. There's a lot of uh, tips I'm sure people will be wanting to give in watching this. I've heard all of them. Uh, I, I just, uh, to some extent, I just need to practice. To another extent, uh, some of this is based on what it was giving me scores for. And it seemed like if I did the break at full G-force, uh, which is 1% of your speed, uh, then I ended up too close to the carrier each time, so I just sort of adjusted for it and uh, at this sort of uh, turn I decided that it was okay, but obviously the turn was a little bit suspect. Anyway, I'm trimming out here and people always told me about uh, on-speed trim and everything, but one problem I actually had in DCS World when I was starting the practice during live streams was that while people were telling me about on-speed trim, I, I kept trying to explain that the trim was not doing what I was expecting it to do and it turns out that what had happened was that the trim switch I have it on the hat switch on my joystick uh, was not just mapped to the normal trim but also mapped to pitch up and down I must have done that accidentally thinking that the pitch up and down was the trim pitch up and down but it was the actual pitch up and down and if it acted in the way that you would think it would, where it would just pitch up whenever you hit the switch, then I would have noticed. But what I, what happened was, uh, it would trim, it would seem like it was trimming, and then suddenly lurch. So it was really weird, but yeah, so I spent hours trying to figure that out, and uh, uh, that was frustrated many viewers. Uh, one trouble I have is this turn here, which you actually do much closer to the carrier than Flight Sim would lead you to believe. Flight Sim, you have uh, you're sort of lined up from ages away. No, you don't get to line up from ages away uh, with these carrier landings. It's about this close, and so you have very a very short amount of time to adjust. And I'm just going to tell you right now, I wasn't trying to do the left-right lineup. I was just completely focused on trying to get my speed right and sort of the up-down portion of this whole deal correct. So, yeah, forgive me, I, I know I'm not lined up with the angled deck, I know how carriers are. Uh, I, I'm saying these things, you know, not to be mean or anything, but I know people are going to tell me these things, and I'm just saying, yes, I'm, I'm high. <laughs> I still hit the deck, but uh, I, I do go over. And, yeah, so that was one attempt. I made many attempts that I'm not going to show here, for your sanity's sake. But here is a new setup, and again, 350 knots, around 800 feet. And a little bit high this time and they'll tell me I was a little bit high and so you can see the feedback that the mission gives me in the upper right hand corner now when I was doing this in flight sim I immediately felt that things were wrong but I hadn't done carrier landings for a long long time and so I decided to wait until I could get into DCS world to verify this but in flight sim for instance, our landing speed was like 120 knots. If you just notice the previous attempt, uh, we were coming in more like 140 knots. So in Flight Sim, they've got the basic... I, I learned the F version of the FA-18 is very, very different from the C version. And it comes in to land at 120 knots. Or 
they are wrong, basically. Uh, the whole feel of the plane was very different from the feel of the plane here in DCS world, I'll say that. And the whole business of on-speed trim is different. The way the aircraft trims out in Flight Sim is different. So, yeah, it's interesting. There's more of a fly-by-wire thing going on in Flight Sim too. So here I am trying to get trimmed out properly, but I'm a little bit low. But you can see trying to get on speed, the E-bracket, I, I know about the E-bracket, don't worry. <laughs> I'm done trying, I'm gonna try to get this right. But it's not easy and it takes a lot of practice. And I'm old, I'm old. In fact, uh, maybe another part of the problem is the games where I first learned how to land on carriers weren't exactly rigorous. Uh, in fact, I think my first carrier landing in the game was in a game called Flight of the Intruder around 1990. I forget exactly which year. Maybe a little bit after 1990. The early 90s, let's say. So, yeah. It was a good game. It had the A6 Intruder and the F4. And I had trouble landing on carriers even in that. But, uh, yeah, I, I can't say I've uh, really skilled up much. Carrier landings are not something I do regularly, and every time I get okay with them, I then don't do them for like years. And I don't, but yeah, I, it ends up like this. It always ends up like this, which in a way is fun, because uh, I have no problem doing this for hours, actually. Uh, going over and over and over again, as my poor livestream viewers on Twitch have found out. I, I can just keep doing this, but yeah, well now we're lined up with the deck at least. Uh, see, we, we've got that part down. Uh, I bet you I'm not gonna actually stick this. Oh, I'm, I'm heading to the left way off too. It's right for lineup. Yeah. Oh, 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 I got it. I got something here. Well, Score 34 out of 75. Uh, obviously plenty of room for improvement, but at least we actually landed that time. But certainly I'm going to try again and again. Uh, my goal, at least during this particular live stream, was to land three times in a row, and I did not. I did not manage that one. I did manage two times in a row, and uh, spoilers, this time I will manage to land, though not as good a score as last time. So, I mean, you can diagnose what problems I have, but ultimately I just need to get a feel for the plane here. I have plenty of planes for DCS World, but I haven't spent much time with them at all. And that's a shame, because they are beautiful and everything. And I have a lot to learn, obviously, but I feel like if I don't block out a whole lot of time very consistently, it's not worthwhile because maybe if I spend only a little bit of time I'll learn some system like some weapon system, you know, how that all works, what f the switches to flick and everything, and uh, how to fire it effectively. But then I'll forget all, or carrier landings, I'll learn carrier landings, but then forget all about how it's supposed to go and or otherwise, you know, just be a little bit off in the way I do things. And then I'll basically have to learn it all over again. So. Yeah, it's something that needs sort of constant maintenance and also a lot of time up front, and that's not so easy these days. So, yeah, but I do want to be able to land on carriers properly. Uh, hopefully, I can try and get this to be a thing. Mid air refueling probably is a step too far, but that would be really interesting too, of course. So here we go again. Uh, this turn, yeah, I, I just really need to figure out exactly how to do this turn right. Because if I do this turn right, of course, we'll be lined up with the deck properly. But, um, yeah. It is, there's all sorts of variables going on here. The turn rate, the speed, uh, the trim. And I'm not doing all of those perfectly at all. This time I was really low, really low, but it didn't like tell me Power. to abort, so 
I kept going. Power. Power. Okay, we're coming in. Well, uh, sort of reasonably lined up actually. That's me being surprised by that. Okay, so we did catch the wire, like I said. This was the second time in a row that I did it, but I didn't get the third time in a row. Uh, 24 out of 75, though, so not good at all. But it's really nice having the mission and the scoring, because I do need the feedback, obviously. Not all the things on the scoring do I think I strictly, strictly need to do. I really just need to survive and land on the deck, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. But it's it's interesting to note what they're scoring me on. And, you know, certainly the things that I tend to lose points on are that final turn. And I certainly need to do that a lot better. Probably I need to look up some more tutorials on how to do that. And it's easy to say, you know, stay on speed, you know, fall the ball, whatever. Uh, it's not as easy to do it. It's just a matter of practice, really. For brevity, I'll cut out part of the downward leg and just start from the turn here. And so this will be the final attempt that I have in this video, and it will not work out. This was the my attempt to get three in a row, and I didn't quite get it. The funny thing is, I had previously done carrier landing practice with the F-14 and managed it. And that's a lot harder. And I think I had done the F-18 before and found it rather easy, but then suddenly I've sort of lost the flow of it. So, go figure. But then again, I was probably not doing it very rigorously. So there's that too. Anyway, the point of this video is mainly that this is a lot different from Power. the situation in Flight Sim. And so for those who watched the carrier landing video in Flight Sim, yeah, this is this is different. And also in a way a lot more fun. I mean of course the challenge is fun. Otherwise I wouldn't keep doing Power. it. <laughs> um, it is fun to try it out legit like sort of legit like this uh yeah didn't quite make it so anyway with that thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you next time